اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیٹ اسٹارٹ ڈے فائنینشیل انسٹرومنٹس اسٹینڈرڈ ہاؤ ٹو پرزینٹ اینڈ ہاؤ ٹو ریکارڈ ان دی بکس فسٹ آف آل دا لرننگ آؤٹ کمس دس اسٹینڈرڈ ول ہیلپ اسٹوڈنٹس ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دی فائنینشیل انسٹرومنٹس اینڈ دیئر کلاسیفیکیشن سو امپورٹنٹ تھنگ از there are a number of financial assets and liabilities equity so their classification they will manage to record report financial instrument in appropriate value in financial accounts any loss or gain interest or dividends calculated on financial instruments now the objective and scope The objective of IS 32 is to establish principles for presenting financial instrument as assets, liabilities or equity. For offsetting financial assets, financial liabilities. It happens that you have financial assets, at the same time you have a financial liability. So you can offset it. It applies to the classification of financial instruments for the prospects of issue of financial assets, financial liabilities and equity. IS 32 shall be applied by all entities of all types of financial instruments except IS 27 which is regarding the consolidation and IS 19 which is again a different standard, rights and obligation under finance. under insurance contract to establish principle of presenting financial instruments that is first thing to make sure then the definition of financial instruments classification of equity versus financial liability compound financial instrument uh, this is an instrument where you have uh, two things together liabilities as well as equity then trade stocks the trade share shares and then offsetting now the definition first of all a financial instrument is a contract that give rise to both a financial assets of one enterprise and financial liability or equity instruments to another enterprise a very simple example when you sell something so you create receivable but the other party who is buying from you will create a liability accounts payable so one party is creating an assets the other party is creating a liability they should be classified according to their substance and not merely their legal form this is again a uh, substance means the, that what actually it is not really the legal legal side of it The fundamental principle of IS 32 is that financial instrument should be classified as financial assets, financial liabilities and equity instrument. According to the substance of the contract, not the legal form, when a company raises finance, we have to classify as debt or equity. For example, a company want to issue shares, so they are creating equity. and if they issue let's say debenture or bonds they create debts the classification not subsequently change based on change circumstances once you classify a certain asset or liability or equity you cannot change it it should remain as it is till such time that asset is going to be eliminated from the balance sheet now the financial assets a contractual right to receive cash or other financial assets from another enterprise you may receive cash against it or you may receive some other assets against it a contractual right to exchange financial instruments with another enterprise under conditions that are potentially favorable so you can only exchange when there is a favorable conditions to you financial liabilities a liability that is contractual obligation that he owe something to somebody to deliver cash 
or other financial assets to another company. To exchange financial instruments with another enterprise under condition for potentially unfavorable. Now, equity instruments, any contract that evidence a residual interest in the assets of an enterprise after deducting all of its liabilities. Basically, this is equity that uh, assets minus liabilities what remain that is the equity. So, equity is separately shown not as a liability. It's although you may say when company is issuing shares, so they are accepting a liability that they are taking the money from you and they are supposed to pay back, but not like that. Equity you cannot claim from the company. If you don't like to buy, uh, continue with the shares, you can sell it in the market, but you cannot force the company to pay back your money. So that's why it is not a liability of the company, it is equity. Thank you very much.